my friend. It's been a bit of a while since I've got a chance to see you, but if there's anybody who is dressed perfectly for a Canadian red carpet, it is you. This is how I dress outside. This is how I dress inside. I don't. I just like. I, and I wear this coat all winter. <laughs> Nothing else. Hey, man. Look. Congratulations on the nomination. How does it feel, man? Uh, it feels incredibly gratifying. Also nominated was uh, Amy Maticio, who's one of our leads, and Brent Carver, Canadian legend. Uh, so, yeah, just, you know what, it feels good to be acknowledged by your peers, and, uh, um, yeah, this is my first writing and directing nom, and I feel like uh, like I'm for real now. How do you think you've been growing in this industry to be able to get this type of nomination? Well, look, I've been in it for a long time, and a uh, long time back, uh, I've been I've been in it since VHS, right? So, um, um, you know, I'm I'm grateful that I get to sort of grow and change and shift and and do the things that I love. I mean, doing what you love for a living is. Uh, is is that's rare air to breathe right and uh, I try to remind myself to be grateful every day even when there's like pit, pitfalls save me for folks who may not know what this is about save me is a, an anthology series that's about the moments before people call 911 uh, it's l the, the episodes are kind of loosely connected by paramedics uh, but it's not a show about paramedics it's just a show about life and how trauma can hit you at any time. <laughs> how did you even come up with something like this? Oh, I don't know. I don't I, that's such a hard question. I actually I I know somebody who uh uh is a paramedic and then he was sort of talking to me about his day and then I was like, "Hey, can I come on a ride along with you? Would, would you be allowed to do that?" And then he took me on a ride along and I just, you know, you go to all he they see all these people and it was also around a time where, you know, firefighters were sort of being glorified like crazy and like not to say the firefighters aren't amazing, but like uh, paramedics are like the least glorified and they see the craziest stuff. You know, and what's been the experience like for people saying to you, which I know, watching the show, I didn't know. I didn't know these guys go through this because emotionally, you know, the whole bit, these guys take it with them all the time. Yeah, like, you know, it's funny because the reaction actually within the paramedic community has been incredible. Like, they they have been so supportive. I got to go speak at one of their conventions. Like, when you see the kind of stuff they deal with, the PTSD that they endure to save us, the people they lose every day, you know. Um, you know, and when I talk to other people about it, yeah, they don't, they don't really know the extent to which, you know, uh, uh, they get faced with trauma, our trauma, everybody's trauma. Well, look, man, you got some trauma to deal with. It's more red carpets. It's the award show. Look, man, congratulations on the success. And uh, cross fingers, man, you're going to be walking out with the gold. Thank you so.